Bonjour. So I said I'd do a quick recording of um my presentation that I would normally give you if I was in school on la ville vocab. So this is our new chapter and it's a very important one because this vocab comes up a lot. I'm basically going to be teaching you about all the buildings that you find in the town. Um, and we'll, we'll progress on into the different types of shops. So at the moment, we're just going to look at the buildings. So the general buildings in the town. And then we'll learn the shops vocab. So la ville is the town. It can also mean the city. Um, you're familiar with the term because we've already learned if you want to say in town, it's en ville. If you want to learn in the town centre, it's au centre-ville. So just be aware that la ville can mean the town or the city. Okay, so la ville. It isn't often that we pronounce a double L in French, but we do here. Okay, so I'm going to do the masculine vocab first. And a lot of this is very similar to the words that we use. So you have le cinéma, le cinéma, the cinéma. Okay, so it's masculine, same spelling, and there's an aigu over the E. Le cinéma. Le théâtre is the theatre. So le théâtre. Exact same spelling. There's an aigu and a circumflex. So the more that you can remember the accents, the better. So le théâtre. Le musée. Le musée is obviously the museum. So le musée. Now I've told you a couple of times before that putting that aigu over the E gives it an AY pronunciation. So le musée, the museum. Okay, le musée. Le Musée du Louvre is the Louvre Museum. Now, a lot of you are familiar with the Louvre Museum. It's basically probably the most famous museum in the city of Paris, and if not in the world. Um, it was once a royal palace, I think, actually, when they used to have royals in France. Um, and they converted it into a museum, and it's absolutely huge. Like, you're only looking at, like, the right-hand side of it. It literally extends in a U-shape. Um, you're seeing the glass pyramid there in the photo in the middle. And if you kind of look north up past the pyramid, you can see the Arc de Triomphe at the very, very top of the picture. So it's a really, really big palace or a big um, museum. And that's where the Mona Lisa is housed as well. So we call it the Louvre Museum. They would say Le Musée du Louvre, the Museum of the Louvre. Okay, so Le Musée, the Museum. Le Chateau is the castle. Le chateau. So you're probably familiar with that word. You've heard of chateaux before, surely. So le chateau, the castle. Now, if I was making that plural, normally what I would do in English, the castle, the castles, I'd add an S. But in French, you mostly do the same with words. You add an S to make them plural. But if the word ends in E-A-U or A-U, you'll add an X to make it plural. So that would be le chateau ending in an X. Now, that is a chateau, that is a castle from somewhere in France. And I mean, they are spectacular in fairness. It's absolutely beautiful looking. So, Le Chateau, the castle. Just to show you a castle that's very near Paris, Le Chateau de Versailles is the Versailles castle, or the palace of Versailles. Um, it's just about 30 minutes, I suppose, outside of... 30 minutes to 45 minutes outside of Paris. It's where... Um, the king used to live in Marie Antoinette. You've surely heard of her. He's mistress, he's lady. She used to live in a little, they call it a little, little palace on the grounds of this. If you saw it, it was absolutely, it's absolutely massive. Now, the palace that you're looking at there in the background of the picture, that's the Chateau of Versailles. And there are the gardens to the front. So it would be definitely worth a visit if you're ever going there in future when we can travel again. So Le Chateau de Versailles. L'hôpital is the hospital, okay, so they're just missing the S that we have. Now, because of the silent H, which is treated like a vowel, we make it L apostrophe, but it is still a masculine word. So l'hôpital, okay, so that's just showing you a picture of a hospital in Paris somewhere. So hôpital Saint-Antoine, now, like some of the hospitals that they have there are very modern looking, like you'd have the C-U-H one up in Cork. Um, or new ones that are built up in Dublin. This is an old style hospital now that you're looking at. But what you would be doing is you'd be driving through the gates, the blue gates there, and you'll be into the hospital grounds and the courtyard. So l'hôpital. Le commissariat de police. Le commissariat de police is the police station. Okay, now I have another word for police station, but this is one of them. The other one is feminine. Le commissariat de police is the police station. Okay. L'hôtel de ville is not a hotel. Hotel on its own is a hotel, but l'hôtel de ville is the town hall. Now, 
in cities in France, the town halls are seriously impressive looking buildings, like the town hall in Paris or the city hall in Paris that you're looking at in this picture. Obviously, in smaller towns in France, the town halls are smaller buildings, but they have a mayor in every city and in every town in France, the town mayor. We don't tend to have that as much in Ireland. It's in very, very few towns and cities in Ireland, um, but it's a very big thing in France. So the town mayor will be elected. They you you they use the town hall actually to get married. You can get married in a church, of course, in France, but you have to um, you have to go to the the town hall to actually officially register your marriage. And um, if you're enrolling a child in primary or secondary school, you go to the town hall. So it has a very important function. So l'hôtel de ville is the town hall. Okay, so there's just a picture you might see Hôtel de Ville written over the little archway there. Okay, L'Office de Tourisme is the tourist office. So L'Office de Tourisme, the tourist office. Like we often see them, I know I've seen one back in Clarny near the car park there at the back of the plaza, but there would be plenty of them in France as well. And you know, they're very handy. You get good tickets on offer, you know, when you're over there in France and you get good deals. Like if you're looking for tickets to the Eiffel Tower or tickets to the... Um, Chateau of Versailles you might get them cheaper than if you actually rocked up to the door of the place so La Fiste de Tourisme okay and there's just a picture of one in, probably dans le sud de la France in the south of France Le Syndicat d'Initiative is another word for the tourist office so the easy word for the tourist office an obvious one is La Fiste de Tourisme but another word is Le Syndicat d'Initiative okay so we just need to be aware of it just recognize it and that'll do. Le college, as you're all aware of, is not college, it's secondary school. So from the age of 11 to 14, 11 to 15, I suppose, you go to le college, okay? Après ça, after that, you go to le lycée from 15 to 18. So you start off with le college and then you go to le lycée, they're both secondary school. Okay, so there's a picture of one in France. Lycée Jean de La Fontaine. Okay, now notice they don't wear uniforms in schools in France. So you might agree or disagree with that. L'immeuble, un immeuble is um, an apartment block. Okay, l'immeuble, a block of flats or an apartment block. Okay, so it doesn't matter whatever way you want to translate it. So un immeuble, an apartment block or l'immeuble, the apartment block or you can call it the block of flats. Now, because France has a lot of cities, it's a very urbanized area. It's a very urbanized country. And in their cities, they have huge populations. And obviously, everyone can't live in their single detached house. There's not enough space for that. So most people in cities in France and in big towns in France live in apartment blocks. Now, you might say, God, that's desperate. Children don't have access to a front or a back garden. It's normal for them. But to substitute um, and to cater for that, they have fantastic parks you know, in their cities. So it doesn't really disadvantage them that much. And it's just normal for them. So l'immeuble, um, a block of flats or apartment block. Le parking, le parking is a car park. Okay. Le marché, le marché is the market. And they have absolutely beautiful markets and towns and cities in France. Um, do you know, they'd be selling the fresh fruit and vegetables, but they also have markets selling jewellery and clothes and different kind of items so they're just absolutely gorgeous the french really love getting their fresh produce from the market they take great um importance and pride in doing that so le marché the market okay there's just a picture of one of the really popular markets in paris marché des enfants rouges you'd pass it out you wouldn't even notice it it's down that little alleyway but the fresh foods that they cook in the different stalls are absolutely beautiful le centre ville is the town center or the city center so you're aware of that term by now. So le centre ville, the town center, the city center. Okay, and there's a sign for it, and underneath there's a sign for le château, the castle. Le parc is the park. So where we end it with a K, they end it with a C. So le parc, and like I said, in their cities they have a lot of parks because their people live in apartment blocks and they need space for them to, to roam around in. Le jardin public literally translates as a public garden, but we just call it a park. So it's another word for park. So you can say le parc or le jardin public. Okay. Le stade, le stade is the stadium. So le stade, the stadium. And I think that's le stade de France. So the stade de France, which is the rugby and football stadium that you would see if you're arriving in from the airport in Paris and you're driving from the airport into the city. 
you more most times you'll pass through that you'll pass by the stadium so that's the interior of le stade de france so pretty impressive stadium where they play their rugby and their football matches le parc des princes is another stadium in paris but that's the for the psg soccer club paris saint germain so anyone into soccer would be familiar with that team so parc des princes it will be kind of in a quieter area of the city of paris but well worth a visit. They have a beautiful kind of um, PSG superstore out there if you want to get your jerseys or whatever. Really cool. Um, so that's just the interior of Parc des Princes. Le Centre Sportif is a sports centre. Le Centre Sportif. Okay, sports centre. And that would be the interior of the sports centre. They would have a lot of them in cities as well for children to get them into swimming pools, get them into athletic tracks um different types of sports that they're into they are fantastic actually they put on a lot of sports centers in big cities and towns in france so there's another picture of an interior of a sports center l'aéroport l'aéroport so the aegu gives it a bit of a, a strange pronunciation l'aéroport the airport so you're probably looking at the charles de gaulle airport there um, so there's a couple of different airports actually in the city of Paris. You have Charles de Gaulle, which is the main one, huge one, um, a couple of different terminals there. And then you have a smaller one, um, Paris Beauvais. So if you're flying Ryanair, you probably fly into Paris Beauvais. It's really small, think like Farn 4. And then the Charles de Gaulle airport would be huge, like Aer Lingus flights would fly in there. Um, you'd be better off nearly flying into that one because it's closer to Paris. And then they have more private ones for business people and celebrities and all the rest. Le Pont. Le Pont is the bridge. So here we have a picture of Le Pont Neuf à Paris. So the Pont Neuf bridge in Paris. I think it's one of the oldest bridges in Paris. It's, it's years and years old. So Le Pont is the bridge. And this is a lovely word to be aware of. Le Cartier. Le Cartier is the area. Now, obviously, Paris is such a huge city and any of the cities in France are huge. So they have different areas, okay, and different names for the different areas. So this would be the Marais district, okay? So the Marais area or the Marais district. It's a really cool, hip kind of a modern area. Lots of young people, really nice restaurants, and really nice shops. So Le Cartier is the area. Okay, so that's just showing you a picture of the Marais area. And then to the left of it, you have the area of Les Halles, which is a beautiful shopping center area and metro and all the rest. So there's loads of different areas. So Le Cartier. Okay, so that's all the masculine vocab. There is a good few words. Most of it, you can recognize it straight away by looking at it. But I would definitely advise you to watch this presentation video another two times at least. It's only a few minutes long just to familiarize yourself more and more with the vocab. Okay, merci.